what is shared nothing architecture so this is one of the latest thing shared nothing architecture also short form is sna let's understand what is this architecture it's popularly used by companies like google facebook and like amazon so there we use it so let's see what exactly it is shared nothing architecture uh, it means like uh, we are creating a distributed system and we are implementing in such a way that each node is self-sufficient and independent of other nodes right so we create nodes which are not dependent on other nodes which means there is no dependency between the nodes and like overhead is very less and this will also help in implementing or eliminating the single point of failure in the system so when we have shared nothing then there is no single point of failure nobody is managing all the other nodes right each node is independent so in a distributed system when we have like thousands of nodes if we start uh, managing these nodes using some kind of a single point of failure then that can lead to a like total uh, breakdown of the system if that uh, single point fails then you I mean the bottleneck will cause the whole system to crash so where is in shared nothing architecture each node can i mean some of the nodes can fail but other nodes can keep on continue working which means if one or more nodes fail the system will still keep operating and this will help in implementing fault tolerant system as well as it will give you a high availability of overall system so in shared nothing you get higher availability than other systems because even some nodes are up they can keep on handling the traffic and since there are no shared resources like memory, file storage, etc., between the nodes, it means there is high efficiency in running, adding, removing nodes in SN architecture. So you get higher efficiency, and that will help you in running that system for a much longer duration. In case a node fails, then the users of only that node will be impacted. Right? Like I mean, if one specific node fails out of thousand, only those users will be impacted. The rest of the users of the other nodes will keep using the application successfully. So that's the, one of the biggest benefit of shared nothing architecture. Other than the efficiency and fault tolerance, you have the high availability. And shared nothing architecture is also highly scalable because there's no single point of failure. So there's no performance bottleneck. And like you can scale it like if you need more nodes, you just need like, you know, uh, scale the system up so if you have a higher traffic scale it up if you don't need high traffic it is a reduced load then you can scale down so that way it's very good to implement share nothing architecture in like scenarios where the traffic varies drastically and this is the reason companies like google and facebook they use share nothing architecture in their system that's all on share nothing architecture if you have further questions so do post in the comment section we'll be happy to answer that and also send us your feedback and is there any other topic that you want to cover tell us and we will be able to cover it in our future videos thank you and subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting alerts for uh, new videos and you don't miss out on your preparation thanks and have a great day